I don't think I'm going out on a limb right now and saying that this year certainly has been a turning point. I mean, think about it. We're going through and right now we're in the midst of a pandemic and we're doing that together. And so yet another chapter in our complicated history of our nation. Yeah. And so three news commentator and senior reporter Leon Bibb takes us back, shows us our past and also where we're headed on this new page in our journey. We are in a transformative moment. Across the nation, there is a changing landscape of society. Race relations are at a turning point. No justice, no peace. There are raised voices amid thousands of footfalls on public streets. The rallying cry is Black Lives Matter. Black Not just protests delivered to the steps of government about how blacks and others of color are treated, but there also is a lot of discussions about racial relations and better understanding equal treatment under the law. The civil rights movement of a few decades ago garnered attention of white America and the world. When do we want justice? When do we want justice? But now recent events push the country deeper into the long needed dialogue on race. This year, a series of events collided. The coronavirus pandemic sparking a tumbling economy also exposed racial disparities in health care. Weeks later, the tragic police officer killing of George Floyd fueled an anger across the country. Protests followed, some of them violent, most of them peaceful, but pointed and insistent. Then came the stories, unknown to most white Americans, of the 1921 massacre of hundreds of blacks and the decimation of a highly prosperous Tulsa, Oklahoma community. Swirling around these events was the anniversary of Juneteenth, unknown to most whites, but observed by many blacks who knew it as the 1865 date of the end of legal slavery in the United States. The year 2020 has seen major events seemingly coming from different points on the compass, converging to a central point. But in reality, they're coming from one point on the compass, that is racial injustice. In 2020, Americans seem to be looking for a pathway to the nation's future. 155 years ago, President Abraham Lincoln, weary over the Civil War, spoke on the fight to end America's original sin of slavery. Lincoln said the war was the eternal struggle between two principles, right and wrong. 103 years after Lincoln, Martin Luther King Jr. spoke on the dream of an American racial awakening. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated the next day. His 1968 words still ring true. America has long been at turning points. 2020 is a continuing chapter in a movement. This city and this nation are at a point of racial reckoning, deciding between two principles, right and wrong. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.